He's back. He's back. Boom. Boom, boom, kaboom. Back in the tub. So, one of the timeless truths of successful living can be stated simply. Your thoughts form your world. And you know the reason why I do those videos when I read quotes like this is uh, in the first place to get them through my head <laughs> to redo the blueprint. I'm still in the process of redoing the blueprint. I'm still not where I want to be and stuff. So it's very important for me to, to read empowering stuff. And I like to come in nature to do it. So you, if you don't like to hear me read uh, stuff like that, don't have to watch it. I don't expect... Uh, and I don't do this for popularity, so I don't care if people watch us by video or not, honestly, at the point that where the world is. I don't think I'll ever change the world. I think I can change myself. So this is a process of changing myself. So if you want to be part of it, good. If you listen to it and it brings something uh, to your heart uh, and I can reach your heart with this, good. But uh, mostly in the first place is to... Uh, stay really uh, focused myself on the on the journey and on the, not let the, the the bad vibrations of babylon invade me or fall into temptation so yeah that's it what you focus on in your life grows what you think about expands and what you dwell on determines your destiny life is a self-fulfilling prophecy it gives you just about what you expect from it. Take a good, hard look at your environment. Your thoughts are shaped by the people you associate with, by the books you read, by the words you speak, and by your daily physical surroundings. When you take steps to make environment your work and live a in a better one, you will quickly detect improvements in the way you think, feel, and act. That's powerful. He has a couple uh, stuff. He has stuff very, uh, very powerful. Uh, Robin Sharma, I like him. Very positive, anyway. Yeah. Oh, stick! To get the best from life. To get the best from life, be completely present and mindful in every minute of every hour of every day. Yet, on most days, our minds are in 10 different places at any one time. Rather than enjoying the walk to work, we wonder what the boss will say to us when we get to the office. Or what we will have for lunch or how our children will do at school that day. Our minds are like scampering puppies or as they say in the East, like unchained monkeys rushing from place to place without any pause for peace. By developing present moment awareness and an abundance of mental focus, you will not only feel much calmer in your life, you will also unlock the fullness of your mind's potential. And that marks the beginning of greatness. Without Huh? Look, a new stick for the collection. Oh, that's a nice one, Gavin. Oh, that's a really nice one. Oh, yeah, we gotta bring this one. Definitely. Look! Yeah, yeah there's already a sharp end to make a weapon. I think I found my two sticks. That one? Yeah, baby. It's kinda heavy, too. Without the ability to concentrate, Full and complete life is not possible. <laughs> if you lack the mental focus to stay with one activity for any length of time, you will never be able to achieve your goals, build your dreams, or enjoy life's da dazzling process. Meditation is not some contrarian practice reserved for monks sitting atop a mountain. No meditation is an age-old technique. That was no meditation is an age old technique that was developed by some of the world's wisest people to gain full control of the mind and in doing so to manifest its enormous potential for worthy pursuit. Meditation is a method to train your mind to function the way it was designed to function. 
and here's the key benefit the peace and tranquility you will feel after 20 minutes of daily meditation will infuse every remaining minute of your day you cannot afford not to discover the power of this 5000 year old mind training discipline yeah it's very important at least 20 minutes a day you, know, you can meditate with music and meditate different way of uh, meditation but it's very important balance head with art balance chasing dreams and making things happen with letting things happen and trusting in the higher plan balance and awareness that the purpose of life is to return to our greatest selves with an appreciation that we are human beings with various imperfections who resides in a world with many lovely pleasures that can and should be savored without guilt when you go after what you want with love and wide abundance you tap into the energy that created the stars and the seas a kind of magic begins to enter your life and things happen that defy your comprehension signs start to appear suggesting that you are on the right track you will probably receive a lot of signs i receive signs every day every day i get uh, some kind of insight some kind of sign to uh, for me to stay uh, focused tells me i'm doing the right thing and i must uh, remain focused that's mainly what i uh, what i get from this you found flowers? Good. Yeah. When you do your best and dedicate yourself to excellence, life supports you and puts wind beneath your wings. It sees a human being who is reaching for his ideals and trying to become what he was meant to be. The kind of effort. The kind of effort, that kind of effort never goes unnoticed by the eyes that watch over the world. Me, I'm sure there's a... Sometimes I have a, a little bit of hard time telling myself that there's no higher... Uh, but again, it's hard to say that there's a... You know, a god sitting on a cloud or a, up a cloud up above or whatever, watching over us. Yeah, because if he would have, I think he would have come down a long time ago to fix uh, all our madness. Huh? So I think it's up to us. It's, re it's really uh, up to us to. Uh... Nature is very powerful. We will never take over nature. I don't think so. That's way too powerful, this uh, place here. And it's very uh, just to... It's important to reflect about it also. But it's, uh, it's also uh, it's a plywood, I think. Yeah. So yeah, so that kind of effort uh, never goes unnoticed. It's probably a higher uh, intelligence, universal mind, like I have said in the past. You can see that. But it's hard to... Uh, can imagine can imagine all kinds of stuff every gift we have been given and every one of us as gift has been given to us for a reason with each of the gifts we have received comes the responsibility that we sculpt it and develop it and then apply it out in the world in a way that enriches the lives of other people People who are not willing to set an intention for all they want from life and then to boldly pursue it are ultimately people with much fear striving within their hearts. Don't let your fear deny you your freedom. I'm out.